and welcome to the Patriot Connection. I'm Elena Taylor. And I'm Julia Creighton. It's a time for food, family, friends, and being thankful. Patriot Connection reporter Adam Wolf takes a look at Thanksgiving traditions. As most of us know, the holiday began with the pilgrims and Native American Indians coming together to help each other and celebrate a good harvest. Several years later, President Lincoln made Thanksgiving an official holiday. In the United States, we celebrate Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday in November. Studies show that 85% of Americans, of close to 300 million of us, will celebrate Thanksgiving. Mrs. Farrow is a social studies teacher at William Pike High School and says Thanksgiving traditions have changed over the years. We've, we kind of grew up learning about like the Pilgrims and the Native Americans and their story in the early 1600s. Uh, but throughout history, little Thanksgivings uh, were used or like uh, celebrated for the end of the war, an end of a battle, uh, maybe a good harvest. Uh, maybe just to celebrate for religious purposes. Today, we obviously uh, celebrate Thanksgiving with family and friends. We watch football, we go shopping, and it kind of marks the beginning of like the Christmas season as well. After an afternoon filled with cooking and eating delicious food, many retreat to the couch for a midday nap. Whether it's breaking the wishbone or watching a football game, everyone has a favorite Thanksgiving tradition. Playing a family football game with all my family. I like to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade and eat dinner with my family. Watching football and then being with my family on Thanksgiving. Watching the football game with my family before we eat. Getting together with my family, um, we make a turkey, um, we cook my mom's side of the family's secret recipe corn casserole that she makes and it is delicious. If your family doesn't have a specific tradition on Thanksgiving, this year is a perfect time to start one. With Point for the Patriot Connection, I'm Adam Wolf. Remember, Thanksgiving is also a time to reflect on the past year and be thankful. That's right, Julia, and Patriot Connection reporter Mia Ellis is going to take a look at the importance of being grateful. Gratitude is the quality of being thankful and is strongly associated with happiness. Close to 80% of Americans say they feel a strong sense of gratitude on a weekly basis. Studies show that being grateful helps us have more positive emotions, improves our health, and build strong relationships with others. Mrs. Short is one of our school counselors and says it's important to let people know we are thankful for them. Whether it is just some random nice deed that they've done for you or whether it is you know, letting your parents, your family, your friends know that you're very thankful that they are in your life and grateful and you appreciate them. I think it is important not only for you as a person to express that, but I think that it feels good on the other end as well to know that people are thankful for you and grateful for you. And I think it's just very important in relationship building and having that communication is definitely positive. Students agree family is a vital support network that provides love, care, and kind words. After all, there is no one that knows you better than them. While more than four in five Americans say they are thankful for their families, two out of three say they are grateful for their friends. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, my teachers, and my pets. For Niall Horan in One Direction. Cine Minis at breakfast. The availability of books online, whether it be school books or books for fun my friends and family. For my family and my friends. Just everything in my life. I am most thankful for my family and my friends and the staff and students at Wheeling Park High School. Make sure to make time this Thanksgiving holiday to be thankful. Not only will you make someone else happy, it will also help improve your mood and even boost your immunity. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Mia Ellis. In case you're wondering how being thankful makes us feel better, studies show that showing gratitude boosts the dopamine in our brain that improves our mood immediately. From turkey and dressing to cranberry, jello and pumpkin pie, everyone has a favorite part of turkey dinner. Patriot Connection reporter Donovan Briscoe Carter asked Wheeling Park students and staff what their favorite part of Thanksgiving dinner is. It's cranberry sauce. Turkey. Green bean casserole. My favorite Thanksgiving food is probably the turkey and mashed potatoes. Turkey and cranberry sauce. My favorite Thanksgiving dish has to be peach cobbler. Kool-Aid, fried chicken, and watermelon. Stuffing. My favorite food on Thanksgiving is definitely the pumpkin pie. Biscuits and gravy. Turkey. My favorite Thanksgiving food is chicken. Stuffing. Chicken. The ham. Pecan pie and mashed potatoes. This will be mashed potatoes and gravy. Green beans. Mac and cheese. My favorite Thanksgiving meal is sweet potato casserole. 
Wild turkey was on the table, so was venison, seafood, and lots of vegetables. Reported for the Patriot Connection, I'm Diamond Russell Carter. One food that pilgrims and Indians did not feast upon at the first Thanksgiving was mashed potatoes. It turns out potatoes weren't grown in North America until the 1700s. When we return from our break, Patriot Connection reporter Abram Vigil is going to give us the inside scoop on having a healthy Thanksgiving. Exciting things are happening in Ohio County Schools, and it wouldn't have been possible without the support of our amazing community. We're improving our facilities, updating our technology, and reimagining our classrooms. And it's all being done to provide the best education possible for our students. Thank you for supporting Ohio County Schools in our efforts to make our school system the finest. Ohio County Schools, together we achieve! What does Main Street Bank mean to you? Well, Main Street has extended hours every business day, and they're open most holidays. Their new checking and savings accounts are really good. The balance requirement is very low, and they have online bill pay and debit cards right away. Plus, they have no fees or low fees. Great service, higher interest. That's money in the bank. The right bank. Open your checking and savings account at Main Street Bank. You deserve a bank this good. Thanksgiving means many things to many people. Family, football, and lots of food. Patriot Connection reporter Abram Vigil explains how to eat healthy during Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the number one holiday where people overeat. A typical Thanksgiving dinner can contain as much as 4,500 calories. For many of us, that's more than double the amount that we should consume in one entire day. Many of us have no idea how many calories we will consume on Turkey Day. I think it's probably going to be around 3,000 calories. 4,000 to 6,000 calories? I'd say somewhere around 4,000. 1,600 to 2,000 calories. Roughly 1,000. I think the average person would eat between three and 4,000 calories on Thanksgiving. Probably about 2,500 to 3,000. I think the average person eats probably at least like 1,000 calories, probably Thanksgiving. 3,000. 5,000 calories. 3,000 calories. Thankfully, there are many ways to reduce our caloric intake and enjoy the day at the same time. Mrs. Griffin is the Child Nutrition Coordinator for Ohio County Schools and explains how to not overindulge at the big meal. Don't skip breakfast and lunch just because you know you're going to uh, overdo it at uh, the big meal uh, for Thanksgiving. Uh, still eat a healthy breakfast, um, maybe even a lighter lunch, um, and that way um, you're not really allowing yourself to uh, go too crazy at the actual Thanksgiving meal. Um, you know, pay attention to portion sizes. Um, even though uh, you want to try a little bit of everything, that's fine, but maybe just have a little tablespoon or so of everything. Don't overdo the gravies. Um, you know, if there are several desserts to choose from, maybe only choose one or have very small portions of all of them. Mrs. Griffin also suggests that if you want to make healthier food choices during supper, try adding more vegetables to your plate maybe preparing them a different way than you're not used to. Um, vegetables obviously provide lots of vitamins and minerals, but they're very much lower in calories than most other food groups. So if you're trying to include um, some more food choices, um, start with vegetables. What should you do if you end up stuffing yourself on turkey? Experts say not to beat yourself up over it and focus on the future. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Aaron Vigil. Here's one more tip. If you do eat more than your fair share on Thanksgiving, don't skimp on eating the next day. Experts suggest that starting the day after with a good, healthy breakfast. Food, family, and football. All staples of an American Thanksgiving for over 100 years. Patriot Connection reporter Hudson Davis takes a look at the history and the importance of Thanksgiving and football. The NFL has been holding games on Thanksgiving since the league's inception in 1920. Over the years, the holiday has become synonymous with professional football. The NFL's Thanksgiving Day games raked in close to 30 million viewers in 2021, with over 38 million viewing the matchup between the Raiders and Cowboys. This was the highest for an NFL regular season contest in nearly 30 years. Mr. Nolte is a radio broadcasting teacher at Wheeling Park, as well as the sports director at WTRF. He says football goes hand in hand with the holiday. 
I think most of us have just grown up with it that is part of our family tradition. I know in my house, it was always what you looked forward to on the day as the meal was cooking, the turkey was in the oven, and you had football on the TV, and you'd watch those games. You'd watch the Detroit Lions, the Dallas Cowboys. They're kind of there every year, and it really has become a tradition, I think, for most people now, especially of our generation and of your younger generation, too. The Detroit Lions have been playing on Thanksgiving since 1934 and have played on the holiday every year with the only exception being from 1939 to 1944 because of World War II. The Dallas Cowboys also play on Thanksgiving every year starting in 1966 and playing on the holiday just about every year since. This year the Lions will host the Buffalo Bills in the 12:30 game on CBS. The Cowboys will host the New York Giants in the 4:30 game on Fox and the Minnesota Vikings will host the New England Patriots in the third and final game on NBC at 8:30. Many Wheeling Park students and staff are looking forward to this year's matchups. The Giants and the Cowboys. Probably the Vikings and Patriots games. It'll be a really good matchup. Well, in a normal year, I'd say the Cowboys, but the Giants are actually having a good season. Uh, the NFC beast is, is going after it. I think it'll definitely be... Who's at home? You don't know? I'll go with the Cowboys, though. I think the Vikings are going to dog on the Patriots. Dallas might win, but I want the Giants to win, though. So I'm, I'm taking the Giants. I'm looking forward to watching the Bills versus the Lions. Any of them but the Cowboys game. The Vikings and the Patriots game. If your family is participating in their own football game this Thanksgiving, don't forget to get a proper stretch and warm-up in, and not to play for too long, so you're in good condition for the turkey dinner. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Hudson Davis. Whether you're playing in a game or watching one from the dinner table, Enjoy your Turkey Day football festivities. Thanksgiving is one of the busiest weekends to travel in the United States. Patriot Connection reporter Avalyn Molina explains. Although air travel is making a comeback, a recent survey shows that most people prefer traveling by car for the Thanksgiving holiday. This may be because it costs less and is easier to maintain social distance. A whopping 53 million people traveled last Thanksgiving. Even though a new study reports that travel this holiday is expected to decline, the roads will still be crowded. Wheeling Park staff and students are excited to hit the road this Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving, I typically travel to my grandma's or my aunts and uncles, which are typically Beckley, West Virginia and North Carolina. I go to Ohio to see my aunt and my family there. Sometimes we go down to Florida and um, stay around there and it's kind of neat. We watch, uh, we watch football on the beach, but this year we are going to Virginia to be with my husband's family. We get together as a family. My brother comes in from Rhode Island, my sister comes in from Columbus, and um, we all get together at my mom's house um, on the island. I go to my aunt's house on Thanksgiving. Each year I go to my sister's house. Um, it's it's a, a good time. I get to see my brothers and their family and then I have to hurry up and come home and then my wife's family all comes to my house afterwards. We get two Thanksgivings in one day. Experts say the busiest travel days over this holiday weekend are the day before Thanksgiving and the Sunday after. Needless to say, it's important to be prepared before hitting the road. Students in Mr. Bugai's automotive technology classes recently shared some important tips. Some things that you want to keep in your car for if you do break down is a first aid kit, uh, a jacket, a blanket, uh, jumper cables just in case, and then a spare tire. There's some things you want to make sure you take care of during the winter time when you're driving is keeping your tank full, uh, have your car looked over, look over to yourself and check your fluids, make sure you have good tread on your tires and make sure you have good wiper blades. Here's one more important tip. Make sure to check the weather before leaving so you don't have any issues and can get to your destination without problems. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Avalyn Molina. Before heading out on any trip, make sure you prepare beforehand. And as always, don't forget to buckle up. Now it's time for Park TV Trivia with Patriot Connection reporter, Caden Davis. Thanksgiving is finally here, and with it comes many traditions. It's estimated that almost 90% of Americans will be eating turkey on Thanksgiving Day. This week's question is, how much did the largest turkey in the world weigh? Was it A, 46 pounds, B, 86 pounds, or C, 106 pounds? We'll have the answer when we come back.
What does Main Street Bank mean to you? Well, Main Street has extended hours every business day, and they're open most holidays. Their new checking and savings accounts are really good. The balance requirement is very low, and they have online bill pay and debit cards right away. Plus, they have no fees or low fees. Great service, higher interest. That's money in the bank. The right bank. Open your checking and savings account at Main Street Bank. You deserve a bank this good. Exciting things are happening in Ohio County Schools, and it wouldn't have been possible without the support of our amazing community. We're improving our facilities, updating our technology, and reimagining our classrooms. And it's all being done to provide the best education possible for our students. Thank you for supporting Ohio County Schools in our efforts to make our school system the finest. Ohio County Schools, together, together we achieve! achieve. One of the newest career technical programs at Wheeling Park High School is Patriot Logistics. Under the direction of Dr. Shepard, students in this program learn about robotics by incorporating engineering and computer science into solving complex problems. Employees have several robotics kits as well as a project arena where they go through the entire design process from brainstorming to application. Students in this company also participate in state, national and worldwide robotics competitions. Patriot Logistics, preparing students for life. Good sportsmanship builds teamwork and character and teaches honor, respect, resilience, perseverance, inclusion, kindness, and more. Sportsmanship is defined as fair or generous treatment of others, especially during the sports contest. Sportsmanship means playing fair and handling victory and defeat with both grace and dignity. It's playing by the rules. Having a positive attitude. Being a team player. Owning your mistakes. And shaking hands after a game. The final score of a sports game is usually forgotten over time, but the actions of the players, coaches, and spectators are remembered. This message is brought to you by WPHP. Before the break, we asked you, how much did the largest turkey in the world weigh? Was it A, 46 pounds, B, 86 pounds, or C, 106 pounds? The answer is B, 86 pounds. Tyson, the 86 pound turkey, won the heaviest turkey contest in London, England in 1989. It's a day that traditionally marks the start of the Christmas shopping season. Patriot Connection reporter Riley Gillespie tells us everything we need to know about Black Friday. Black Friday dates back to the 1950s and has been a big phenomenon ever since. This is the day that many retail stores have a variety of sales and deals. Black Friday has changed lots since the 50s. Since the beginning of Black Friday, many people have decided to switch to shopping online. Mr. Michaels is an accounting and finance teacher at Wheeling Park High School and explains more about how Black Friday has changed over the years. I think in some of the recent maybe five to ten years we have seen where stores were opening up on Thanksgiving to start an early Black Friday sale. Um, but now we see that transi transition in the way to where stores are not opening on Thanksgiving and going back to the traditional opening up for uh, the traditional Black Friday sales. Whether it's Kohl's, Target, Best Buy, or a myriad of other stores, Wheeling Park students and staff are excited to hit the stores on Black Friday. Books a million because like there's more than just books there. Lululemon because of their discounts. I like to go to Target to Black Friday shop because they have toys for all my kids' ages and I get to drink some Starbucks while I shop. My favorite place to Black Friday shop is the Ohio Valley Mall because my mom works there. My favorite place is Target because they have great deals and great stuff. I go to Best Buy because graphics cards are cheaper. It's Target because they have a variety of items. Probably Hobby Lobby because I love their baking and art materials. Walmart because the deals are all November long. Probably Amazon just because there's so many different kinds of things that you can get. You might ask, how do retail stores actually benefit from Black Friday? Retail stores out there look to Black Friday and to Cyber Monday um, as a way to uh, generate enough revenue and profit for the year so that they are quote in the black and that's why the term Black Mo Friday came about is that they would put their financial position into the positive for the year. 
Wherever you plan to shop this Black Friday, you are bound to find an amazing amount of deals. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Riley Gillespie. If you would rather forego shopping on the day after Thanksgiving, never fear. Small Business Saturday may be more of what you're looking for. Here's Patriot Connection reporter Ellie Riesbeck with everything you need to know. It's a national shopping day that the American Express developed in 2010. Locally owned businesses are often overlooked during the busy shopping season, but November 26th is a chance for all these businesses to get some well-earned attention. The idea behind this special day is to draw attention to small businesses and encourage local shopping during the post-Thanksgiving weekend. Small businesses around Wheeling don't just include the stores and boutiques, but the amazing coffee shops, restaurants, and bakeries located all throughout our friendly city. Ms. Pico is a Program Development Manager for RED, which stands for Regional Economic Development. She says Small Business Saturday is one of her favorite times of the year. People are just excited to support their local businesses, and I work with these businesses all year long, helping them to grow and helping them as startups, um, and it's just so exciting to see that many of them reach like their all-time best sale records on Small Business Saturday, um, and just to see all the people out shopping and supporting our local businesses. Our area is blessed with many small businesses, from Ditto to Mugshots to Sarah's on Main. Everyone has a favorite place to shop in Wheeling. I really like mug shots downtown. They have good coffee. Restyle. Whisk. I really like to eat at Sarah's on Main. Restyle, because they have the trendy threads and the hats for your heads. My favorite small business to shop at is Ash and Tins. Center Market Cafe. A key component to owning a small business is having a friendly personality. The warm and sociable atmosphere created in the shops makes them shine in our friendly city. It's a, it's a great day for us, for all small businesses really in the Valley because it's our biggest day of the year. It gives people in the Ohio Valley a chance to like support small local, um, locally owned businesses. So. We sell um, women's clothes, shoes, accessories. We do have a little bit of home goods, um, but our focus is mainly clothes. We're a coffee shop, so a lot of people that are shopping locally in the center market, um, we can provide them with that caffeine to keep them going and keep them shopping. Not only that, but our shops, we own uh, the Market Cafe here on the corner, a Market Cafe in the center market, and then we also have Ziglags that are just down the street. And we sell all locally made products, even like apartment two candles. Um, so the more business that we get, the more we can help our local artists and our local businesses around here. Special thanks to all shops and boutiques for welcoming us in and talking to us. We hope to see you at Small Business Saturday supporting your local businesses. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Ellie Riesbeck. Remember, it's important to support small businesses all throughout the year, not just on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. The fun doesn't end after Thanksgiving dinner or even shopping. Patriot Connection reporter Austin Baker takes a look at the phenomenon that is Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is a marketing term for e-commerce transactions the Monday following Thanksgiving. It originated back in 2005 by National Retail Federation's Scott Silverman and Ellen Davis. Cyber Monday is one of the most anticipated days of the year for consumers, and this year it kicked off earlier than ever. In fact, consumers are expected to spend just over $11 billion the Monday following Thanksgiving, which is the biggest it has ever been. This unofficial holiday has proven to help online stores grow. For places like Amazon, profits grow almost 12% every Cyber Monday. Mr. Turbanic is a business and marketing teacher at Wheeling Park High School and says that Cyber Monday will grow even bigger this year. Cyber Monday in e-commerce has increased sales for companies overall based off of uh, increasing demand and jobs for those companies. Um, there are more jobs that come into your community and within those uh, businesses they actually benefit from having those sales dollars being spent in their community. So how can you ensure that you get the best deals on Cyber Monday? First, make a list of what you are interested in buying so you know what you're looking for when you get on your favorite websites. Next, check in early to see when the sales go live. You can even look at past year's sales for guidance. Finally, take advantage of cash back apps to help save even more money. Around 62 million people are set to make online purchases this year. Students and staff at Willing Park High School are looking forward to online shopping. My go-to place to shop on Cyber Monday is Dick's Sporting Goods. On Cyber Monday, I love to shop on Amazon.com. 
My go-to place to shop online is Amazon because you just can't go wrong with it. I shop on Amazon. Probably be Cabela's, Amazon, and probably any type of WVU fan store. When it comes to Cyber Monday shopping, the United States isn't the only country getting in on the action. From Germany and France to Japan and Sweden, there are over 16 countries getting in on the deals. Reporting for the Patriot Connection, I'm Austin Baker. Besides the crazy low prices, consumers also shop on Cyber Monday to find lowered or even free shipping. Well, that's a wrap for this edition of the Patriot Connection. We're on WLTV 14 three times a day, seven days a week at 6.30 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. For all the Patriot Connection reporters, I'm Elena Taylor. And I'm Julia Creighton. Have a great day.